Hey everyone, Justin Mueller again here, and I wanna start off by saying thank you for the overwhelming support that I've been receiving on my channel, but most importantly, the previous YouTube video I just uploaded talking about how I made $2,000 in one week using this diversion strategy. And as a way of saying thank you, I actually wanted to give you a more in-detail look into what I'm doing for the market open this week. So first, before we do that, I actually wanna show you uh, what I did this week for the first week of October from September 29th to October 4th, which was from Sunday to Friday. I currently pulled in $1,800 trading using the strategy. And I'm gonna show you a little bit more detail what I'm gonna do next week when the market opens tomorrow. Right now it's Saturday, October 5th. So tomorrow, October 6th, the Monday, uh, the market will open and I'm gonna actually show you what I'm gonna be doing for Euro USD in this video. And I'm actually editing, whoa, I'm actually editing the video right now on my iPad. Anyways, thanks again for the support. We are almost at 10,000 subscribers. Uh, the previous video got like 5,000 views in the first three, four days. I'm pretty impressed. So this video is my way of saying thank you for that. And I'm going to show you what I'm going to be doing for Euro USD market open tomorrow. All right, so let's get to it. Okay, so we're on my computer now. And I want to give you an example of where I'm seeing divergence. And if you want to follow along with me on Sunday market open for this trade, feel free to do so. Of course, trade out your own risk. I'm not giving you financial advice. I'm just showing you exactly what I'm doing based on the strategy. So right here, Euro USD, this is one of my favorite pairs to trade. Uh, it's always been one of my favorite ones. It's one of the majors in the market and it's one of the most volatile. So Euro USD right now, we actually see divergence. And here's how you can tell. Remember what I said before in my previous video about how I made $2,000 in one week with the strategy? I said, uh, you know, when the market is going in a certain direction and you see divergence, you're going to place the trade in the opposite way. So here's an example, but this one's slightly different. And this is why I'm showing it to you here on TradingView because I want to give you a better view versus just my phone because uh, I do 90% of my trading from the MT4 app on my phone. I don't even use a computer. I actually use my iPad Pro. I have it right here. Most of the time, I actually just use my iPad Pro with my iPhone. I don't even use a computer, really, uh, a big screen. So you don't need to have a big screen, but it's pretty easy if you do. But anyways, let me show you an example. So right now, we see divergence. So your USD, let's start from right here. Starting from here, your USD is going down. But the OBV indicator is going up. Okay, so remember, if you start right here, then drag your cursor all the way down. This represents up here. So this represents the price action up here. Okay, pretty simple. So right from here, from this spot, your USD is going down. We're in a downtrend. Right here, from the OBV indicator, it's going up. It's in an uptrend. So remember what I said before. I said, if you're going in a downtrend and you see divergence, you place a buy. But this one is slightly different, okay? Naturally, I would be inclined to place a buy. And there is a very good possibility that Euro USD could spike all the way up here. And let me show you why. Go to the four, right now we're on the four hour, but let's go to the daily time frame. If you look right here, we have one touch, two touch. We didn't make a third touch at all. So if we want to make a third touch, Euro USD needs to spike all the way up. But this is where I'm kind of conflicted. The reason why I possibly want to sell is because of this right here. We're forming a letter M on the four hour time frame. So we go up, down, up, and we could see a spike down. This is a very common reversal pattern. When trading, you're gonna see two wicks right next to each other. For example, up here, there's a wick, wick, and right here you have a wick and then a wick, and then it drops. So right now, I drew this channel. Okay, so starting from here to here, from wick to wick, we have the top channel, and down here, from wick to wick, we have the bottom channel. So we're right now in a channel. Your USD basically almost touched the top of this channel. So that's confirmation number one, okay? We're, we're basically at the top of a channel. Confirmation number two, we see this reversal pattern. We see two wicks right next to each other, and we're forming the letter W or the letter M, depending on what time frame you're looking at. So if you're looking at the one hour time frame, we formed a letter W, up, down, up, down, up, right? So we formed a letter W. Also, you could argue that's the letter M if you start from here. So down, up, down, up, down. We just need to do the drop. So basically, that's confirmation number two, okay? Let's go back to the four hour time frame. Confirmation number one, we're at the top of a channel. Confirmation number two, we see a reversal pattern. Now the third possible confirmation could be that we see divergence. 
So naturally, even though based on my strategy, if we're in a downtrend and if you see divergence, we would place a buy, but we have two other types of confirmations. We're in the top of a channel and we see a common reversal pattern. And because we spot divergence, there's a very good possibility that your USD could fall and it could fall down here. Okay, to the bottom of this channel. Let me move this so you can see it a lot better. There's a very good possibility that your USD could fall down here to the bottom of this channel to make a third touch right here. So remember, there's one touch, two touch, three touches. So my prediction for Monday market open right now, today's date, let's pull it up right here. Today's date is Saturday, October 5th, 2019. When the market opens tomorrow, right now Saturday, so tomorrow, Sunday, when the market opens, there is a very good possibility that your USD could either open down here, spike up and then fall straight down, or your USD could open up down here to make the third touch for the top of the channel, and then we could see it spike all the way down to make a third touch to the bottom of the channel. So right now, because we see divergence, and we're at the top of a channel and we see a confirmation for a reversal because of these uh, because of these wicks, I'm predicting your USD is going to fall. So this is easily a 100 pip trade if it is successful. If it's not successful, then I am predicting your USD could spike up to touch the top of this channel for the daily time frame. But for now, I am placing a sell on Euro USD. All right. So this is just one example. Uh, let's see what happens. Hey, I could be totally wrong. I could be totally wrong or I could be totally right and look awesome on YouTube, right? I don't honestly don't care. Uh, you're going to have winning trades and you're going to have losing trades all the time when trading Forex stocks. It doesn't matter what market you're trading. You're going to have wins and losses. So you always want to make sure that you use proper risk management and you do not over leverage. For example, for this $10,000 account, I'm sticking to, ju to just using five mini lots per trade. And on average, when I get into a trade, I try to get uh, a, a really good entry. Sometimes I don't and I lose the trade, which is fine. But there are times where I get a spot on entry. And when I do get those spot on entries, I usually set my stop loss to 30 pips. So for example, I already sold your USD right here at the very top. So my stop loss would be 30 pips, which would be somewhere up here. And if I lose 30 pips on five mini lots, that means I'm losing $150. And $150 from a $10,000 account is only 1.5%, which is great. I like that risk right there. So I'm risking 1.5% of my account in order to make $500, which is 5%. So I'm risking 1.5% to make 5%. I like those odds because if I'm going for 100 pips down here, that's a pretty good odd right there when it comes to risk to reward. That's what I'm currently doing right now. So I know this video wasn't me showing you 100% of how I trade, but I just wanted to give you a little insight towards what I'm doing this week. My main focus this week is Euro USD catching 100 pips on this trade. And yeah, we'll see what happens. So hopefully that video gave you a better insight towards it. If you have any questions, don't forget, leave them down below in the YouTube video. Uh, try not to message me on Instagram. Feel free to message me on Instagram, but only message me on Instagram for real legitimate questions. I have so many people and I really do appreciate when you guys reach out to me on Instagram uh, with questions. I see you, you guys are engaging, you enjoy my content. I really do appreciate that. But sometimes I get very basic questions like people would ask me, hey, what is Forex? Hey, what does OBV stand for? And these are things that I already talked about in the video. So if you are going to ask me a question on social media, please make it worth my time. Don't waste my time with basic silly questions that you can Google in five seconds. Please do your research before asking me questions. If you do want to ask a question, leave it down below in the YouTube comment below this video because I check my comments every single day and I respond to almost everyone's question depending on uh, how good of a question it is, all right? So that's it for this video, guys. Take care and I'll see you in the next one. Bye-bye.